In this question, we're trying to work out the length of x. We can see that there is a right angle triangle, and indeed, the whole shape makes another right angle triangle. So the two triangles have something in common, the right hand side, so we're going to call that side y. So because we have a right angle triangle involving an angle, the possibility of using trigonometry exists. If we look at y, it is next to the angle, so next to, that's adjacent, and the x is opposite the 60. So we should have learnt the formulae for trigonometry. Sokotoa is one way of remembering them. You may have another system. We have the opposite and the adjacent, O and A, so this suggests we're going to use the formula involving T for tangent. Tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So we put the numbers in and we have the tangent of 60 degrees equals the opposite side, which is x, divided by the adjacent side, which is y. We now look at the whole shape and the whole angle is 76 degrees. The y is still next to that angle, so that's still the adjacent. And the whole side opposite that angle of 76 degrees is x plus 9.2. So once again, we can use the tangent formula. The tangent of 76 degrees is the opposite side, x plus 9.2, divided by the adjacent side, which is y. So we now have two equations, two unknowns. That's simultaneous equations. So we must get one letter on its own in each equation. So we can multiply it by y and divide by tan 60 in the first equation. So we get y is x divided by the tangent of 60. In the other equation, we can multiply by y and divide by the tan 76. So this now gives us y is x plus 9.2 divided by the tangent of 76. We now can equate the two equations because they're both equal to y. So we can write x over tan 60 is equal to x plus 9.2 over the tangent of 76. We need to Isolate x, so we get rid of fractions first, multiply both sides by tan 60, multiply both sides by tan 76. So we have x tan 76 is equal to x plus 9.2, the whole side, multiplied by the tangent of 60. We now need to expand the bracket, so x tan 76 is equal to x multiplied by tan 60 plus 9.2 multiplied by tan 60. We need x on its own, so we subtract the x tan 60 from both sides so that all the x's are on the left hand side of the equation. So x tan 76 minus x tan 60 gives 9.2 tan 60. The left hand side has x in both terms, so that's the common factor, so we extract it. So we have x brackets tan 76 minus tan 60 equals 9.2 tan 60. And finally, to get the value of x, we need to divide by that large bracket. So x will be 9.2 tan 60 divided by tan 76 minus tan 60. And we now work out this on our calculator, make sure the calculator is in degrees mode, and we get a final answer of 6.99 centimeters and that's the final answer.